So I want to create kind of an inside boundary on here. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually use the offset function here. So I'm going to click offset and the way it works is that you pick the shapes that you want to um, offset first. So I'm going to pick this outside shape here and you can see that I can kind of click and drag to define where I want this to go. So now what I do is I pick the the kind of the approximate point here or I can use my dynamic input and say you know I want this to be an eighth inch offset here I'm gonna hit enter and we can see it's gone through and created that geometry but also created all the the constraints required to keep that constraint so I can come in here and, and one dimension is enough to dimension the entire shape so as you can see how I'm, I'm quickly able to go in there and modify that now, one of the improvements I made in 2015 is that if an object's going to disappear, it'll just disappear, whereas in the past it would have stopped you and it would have failed out. So you can see that this, in this corner here, this, this horizontal line here is actually disappearing, but yet I'm able to go in there and create the required offset geometry. Now, let's just back this up a couple, couple spots here, and let's go back, whoops, too far. And let's take a look at a couple options with the offset command. The first one here is that when I right click, I don't need to do the entire loop. I can actually turn loop offset off and say, well, it's really just after these shapes right here. These are the only ones that I was after. And now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and say continue. And now notice that I'm able to offset just those objects like that um, and go in there and dimension it in one dimension will create it. The other option that I can do is I can come in here and I can actually turn off constraint offset. So then what it becomes is it really becomes an offset copy. So once I'm done, so if I take this shape, this shape, and this shape, and I say continue, is it still functions the same? I'm still able to come in here and specify that offset, but notice that no dimension was created because there's no constraints were created either. So now this is basically independent geometry that I can go and manipulate. So by using the offset command, it's the right click option to specify loop offset and constraint orbit and really make the offset command work for you.